Hello there everyone, my name is Zay Morgan and welcome to another edition of this Road to Special with the Hammerstein Ballroom down in New York City. I am your commentator, Zaya Morgan, as we get ready for some tag team action with Jay Roberts and Trevor Diaz, formerly known as the Trash Boys, now going by the, the, uh, uh the swag daddies. Ugh. Uh. Well, it doesn't get any easier to say the more times you hear it. But anyway, they're going to be taking on the team of Xander and Zaya Steele, who are uh, coming off of a, well, a quite disappointing loss back at Fuel, but also, you know, having to heal their wounds after being attacked by one Vin Taylor, of all people. There you can see the man right now, the self-proclaimed prodigy of ZCW, Xander, making his way down to the ring. Him and his uh, tag team partner, his friend Zaya Steele, had quite, quite the run in the tag team warfare tournament. Defeating FI4K, defeating British Strong Style, Tyler Bate and Trent Seven, defeating CCK, Kid Like Us and Chris Brooks. Came so close winning the whole damn thing. Unfortunately, Blackout 2.0 proved to be that much more tougher than they than they were expecting, but uh, it seems that they've got a bit of other troubles on their hands. Right now, here comes his tag team partner, Zaya Steele, who was also on the receiving end of that beating that they got by the hands of Vin Taylor. And for those who don't know, Vin Taylor is quite an, uh, quite an infamous name in the realm of virtual wrestling, a former WEDF NXT superstar, also competing in Battle Pro, I believe is currently the Battle Pro World Champion, making a shocking debut at CCW Fuel. We don't quite necessarily know what his intentions are, other than the fact that he seems to have had his eyes out on both Xander and Zaya Steele for some reason. And Taylor, a man who is uh, very mysterious. But when, he, but when he speaks, you listen, but so far we haven't heard from him. It's been a complete mystery, so you have to be wondering what's going through the minds of both Xander and Zaya still at the moment, but they gotta, they gotta remain focused because right now they're taking on a formidable tag team and Trevor Diaz and Jay Roberts. I refuse to say their tag team name any further from this point on. Trevor Diaz with the pushback and catches him with a nice Japanese style arm drag. Catching Xander off guard and another Japanese style arm drag once again taking Xander down. And now wow look at this a complete turnaround from Trevor Diaz and now catches him into an inside cradle there. Doesn't even get a one count but here comes Trevor Diaz once again now look at that bridge here. One, two, and no. Not quite yet. Trevor Diaz, so quick, so fast, so athletic. But oh, here comes Xander with a bit of athleticism of his own. Looking for that cartwheel moonsault. Wasn't able to get it. Diaz was able to get his knees up at the right time there. Puts him into the corner. Has him hung out to dry here. Look at this springboard triangle drop kick there from Trevor Diaz catching Xander right on the top of the head and with the springboard clothesline, Trevor Diaz, and he wins. What's the leg here? Oh, I'm starting to think that Trevor Diaz might, I mean, not Trevor Diaz, I don't think that Jay Roberts is the best role model for Trevor Diaz. As you can see, clearly see, this is a... I know for a fact this is pretty much all of, of Roberts is doing. There's no, there's no doubt about that. As now, Jay Roberts now... Yes. Ooh! 
couple of jabs and a straight punch of the jaw. Nothing pretty or fancy, but it damn sure is effective. Fortunately, it was only good for a one count. Elbow to the top of the head. Xander in trouble at the moment, getting worked over by both Diaz and Roberts. Two elbow drops from Jay Roberts here, and another one, and this time a kip up just showing off to the crowd does Jay Roberts. Massive ego do, does Jay Roberts have. Back elbows here from Roberts and Diaz. And there's the moonsault fish drop combo there as Diaz gets rid of Steel. Hooks the leg now. Xander able to kick out of it. So far, Xander doesn't seem like he's got his head completely focused. Doesn't seem to have his... Uh, What's about him here? Not keeping fully into the matchup. You have to wonder if that's the mind games of Vin Taylor on display at the moment. Better now getting out of this surfboard stretch here. Off the ropes goes Zanin. Almost gets caught with a drop kick, but sidesteps it and hits Trevor Diaz with a calf kick. Over the ring here. Here comes that cartwheel. Moonsault gets it this time. We follow that up with the springboard moves on. Now look at this. Tries to go for a tope atomico. Diaz moved out of the way. Full Nelson. Oh my goodness. Into a face buster. Turns him around. Very nicely done here. Two. Not quite yet though. Not good for a three count yet. But Diaz and Roberts are showing that they pretty much have better have a better partnership than both Xander and Steele at the moment. Or wait, no wait. Xander gets out of it. Nice German suplex. Down goes Trevor Diaz. Dag out to his partner, Isaiah Steele. Huge kick to the mid-second. Steele is now going off the ropes. Like, oh my goodness, like a freaking freight train just collides right at Trevor Diaz with that nice lariat. I don't see how Trevor Diaz isn't seeing stars at the moment. Also coming up later tonight, we have the confrontation between the champion, our world champion, Kenny Omega, and the challenger, Luka Khan. Also in our main event, it will be Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Penta El Zero M. In a match that was promised to be on an episode of DCW on YouTube, but thanks to prior engagements in the Tag Team Warfare Tournament, we didn't get to see that match, but we will here tonight in our main event. The springboard frog splash there from Xander takes out Diaz 2. No. So far, Xander and Zaya still have complete control in this contest. I got the Zandy here and now what in the world is this? Oh my goodness, the midnight hour! Midnight hour there from Xander. And Xander still, Xander takes Roberts off the apron. Cover here. Diaz could be in trouble and he again kicks out. Once again kicks out, but Xander not wasting any time. Hits a drop kick straight to the face. Xander, wait, nope. Diaz now. Lining up Xander here at the moment. Dear Lord, what a moonsault. Diaz getting rid, getting rid of Xander Steel. Xander now in no man's land. Tag out to Jay Roberts. Off the ropes goes Xander, gets caught, double hip toss, and a kick to the chest and back. Diaz takes Zayasti off the apron, and now Roberts, oh, barely catching Xander with that elbow drop, but now look at this, oh my goodness, corkscrew cross body from Trevor Diaz. And this does not spell good news for Xander Fisherman suplex. One, two, no. 
They still try to break it up, but Xander proving that he's got this one well in control, or at least for at least now, because now it looks like Roberts is setting up for something. No! Xander catches him! Tiger Driver! One! Two! No! Not quite yet, but Xander picking up Diaz. Oh, I say, I'm sorry, Jay Roberts there. Xander now on the apron. Springboard drop kick to the back of the head. Diaz goes down. Xander now. Taking Roberts into his corner. Tag out to Steele. Xander, Hurricane Rana still catches him with a nice power bomb there. One, two, no. Not quite yet. And now it's Isaiah still beating down on Jay Roberts. Xander now looking at Trevor Diaz. Now look at Isaiah still with the warning. And now Xander with the corkscrew moonsault. One, two, no. And Diaz was able to get his shoulder up at the last minute, but now still looking to put Roberts to sleep. Oh my goodness, the Reaper's elbow. You can count to 100 if you want to. This one is over. A bit of a rocky start there, but in the end, Xander and Zaya still were able to pick it up. But Trevor Diaz and Jay Roberts did, definitely did not make it easy for them. In the end, Xander and Zaya still get a bit of momentum heading to the Hammerstein ball and we have to wonder, is this a little bit of a message from both Xander and Zaya still to them Taylor? We have not heard from ever since Fuel. Looks like Xander actually, it looks like he's actually, yeah, he's asking for a microphone, but right there you can see the Reaper's elbow, and that would get the job done, but now it looks like Xander's got a couple things to say. No one has ever accused Xander of being shy of confidence, but I don't know. Even I have to question this decision. No, oh no, oh no, yo, 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 oh no, you didn't. Sucker tried to blame me, but you never paid me, never. Oh no, you didn't. Payback is a coming, you will be running forever. Oh no, you didn't. Until I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem. Oh no, you didn't. I'm a mercenary, you ain't got a prayer, you owe me. Oh no, you didn't. 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 Didn't you? Oh no, you didn't pay me what you owe.
go. Check it oh, out. Oh, no, you didn't. First you try to trap me, then you bust a cap in my ass. Oh, no, you didn't. Such humiliation will bring annihilation at last. Oh, no, you didn't. It will be delicious when I get vicious tomorrow. Oh, no, you didn't. There's no second chances. You will do the dance of sorrow. Back everybody to the Road to uh, edition of ZTW on YouTube. Right now, making his return to a ZCW ring, the ZCW World Champion, the cleaner himself, Kenny Omega. We have not seen the cleaner here in quite some time, mostly due to the hectic schedule due to the uh, ZCW Tag Team Warfare Tournament. But now Kenny is here. He is in Long Island, New York as he gets set to take on the leader of the well, controversial group The End, led by none other than Luka Khan. Well, Kenny, Kenny may be one of the best. Khan has definitely beaten the best. But will Kenny become another victim on Khan's already long list of victims?
speak of the devil goes here comes Luca Khan the challenger for Kenny Omega's ECW World Championship I think he'd have a, a bit of a rebuttal to what Kenny is saying right now Luka Khan in his own mind seems to think he's a, a cleanser here in ZCW trying to get rid of what he what he believes it's filth here in ZCW but I don't know I mean, for one man looking in, it, it just looks like this man has ulterior, ulterior motives. He, does, he just doesn't want to come out with it. He says that by getting rid of guys like Balor, Styles, Omega, you know, guys like guys who he believes that are only in it for themselves and don't really care about ZCW as a brand. He was looking to get rid of them one by one. But in my mind, I just see a man who is looking for power, looking for control, looking for absolute leadership here in ZZW. And winning that world championship would be a very good first step for Luka Khan. Khan and Kenny. Definitely a battle between two people of different plans of mind. Kenny looking to prove that he is still the best here in ZCW and all of professional wrestling. Khan looking to take that title away from Kenny for his own reasons, whether they be selfish or no. Wait a minute. Speaking of about a man who's got a bit of a problem with Luka Khan, here comes Sami Zayn, the man who got Taken out by Luka Khan in the impression almost a year ago. Sami Zayn uh, dropping a bit of a bomb here tonight. He's going to be taking on Micah. And if Micah loses, him and the Oppression are banned from ringside.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Road to Edition of CCW on YouTube as we are getting ready for our main event of the evening as Penta L Zero M will take on the King of Strong Style himself, Shinsuke Nakamura here in one-on-one -on -one competition. Now, this match was originally supposed to be on an episode of ZCW on YouTube, but thanks to uh, the conflicting schedules of the Tag Team Warfare Tournament, that Penta was competing in at the time, we were not able to get that match, but we are going to now. It's the fearless one himself. Ready to take on the king. Honestly, I don't know what else I could possibly add on to that because that was absolutely, you could literally, you could almost see the roof coming off of this place. The loud ovation that Shinsuke Nakamura is getting here in Long Island, New York is nothing short of incredible. As the king of strong style. Confidently makes his way down to the ring. It's hard to get inside of the brain of someone like Shinsuke Nakamura. The man himself is an enigma. Only things that you can really pinpoint about this man is A, he is super charismatic, and B, he hits really freaking hard. But will that be enough? Will that be enough to take out Penta L Zero and I don't know Shinsuke hasn't had the Best of luck as of late. Failed to capture the uh, failed to capture the VCW Pride Championship back at Fuel in that triple threat match. Probably still feeling the effects of that loss there, but if you look at him now, you definitely can tell. Shinsuke Nakamura, you never want to count out this man. I can guarantee you, he will be back in the title picture sooner rather than later. Right now, he's not focused on titles. He's only focused on the man on the other side of the ring from him, Pinta Alzero M. knows how dangerous this man is and I guarantee you Penta knows how dangerous Shinsuke is so this is going to be one hard hitting matchup he's going to get downright brutal Penta L0 and Shinsuke Nakamura finally here in ZCW as they tie up here Penta now grabbing the wrist of Nakamura, wrenching back on it. Shinsuke could be in trouble. And now Shinsuke, look at this. Just a bit of pizzazz, just a, just a bit showing off here is Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura. 
Just to get out of that wrist clutch, I mean. Always the showman is Nakamura in his matches. But it's that showmanship that always kept you, catches you off guard. Because then, once he's once he's gotten inside your head, once he's wowed you, he, and just like that, he could just as quickly as as hurt you as much as possible. And there's an example with that knee to the midsection. Try to go for a penal, penalty kick there. And now, Penta with the trip up. Penta zero M now sends him off the road. Shinsuke catches him though. Oh, and catches the arm too. The dangerous knees, kicks, and forearms. I mean, there's, there's a reason why he's called the king of strong style. Folks. I don't have to explain this to you. Everything hurts. Everything he does hurts. As now Shinsuke. Shinsuke now again just taunting Penta, giving him a, a bit of good vibrations there. A straight kick to the back. And a knee drop. So arrogant and so cocky, so egotistic, egotistical, but don't let that fool you. As now. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness gracious. He just he just grabbed him by the neck and just chopped the top of his head. Oh my goodness. Now sends him back first into the barricade. And now Penta L0 am not playing any games. Now you see the attire is cool and you know the, the, and the mask, it's all flashy and stuff, but Pinto L0M is anything but flashy when it comes to his wing style. It's just straight up, all he wants to do is hurt you. You know, you know what I'm saying? All he wants to do is cause you pain, he wants to injure you, he wants to just, he takes pleasure in just gaining so and just, and just dishing out as much punishment as physically possible. Now Penta, now look out for the dangerous chops from Penta. Penta L Zero M, those chops. Oh boy, have you ever, if you've ever been on the receiving end of one of those chops before, you know just how badly those hurt. As Nakamura now taking some time to try to catch his breath, but oh my goodness gracious! A super kick straight to the chin, Nakamura could already be out here too, and no! Penta caught all of that super kick. Double foot stomp there from Penta Elzato, and then a drop kick straight to the face. Nakamura had the advantage early, but Penta already back on the attack. Nakamura moves out of the way of the drop kick. Here comes the forearms from Nakamura. Nakamura looking for that reverse power slam, but Penta L Zero M with the bulldog counter. And now you can see Penta going after the arm. Could possibly be setting up for that pullback arm snap that he likes to utilize and was damn near snap snap your damn arm like a twig Nakamura now off the ropes here gets caught back body drop there from Penta and again goes right back after the arm Penta L Z O M obviously has a game plan and that is target the arm of Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura setting him up for that arm breaker that signature arm breaker from Penta and now again going back after the arm just takes it down and a double knee drop there
Yet in another move in the arsenal of Quinta Ozora and that Nakamura is going to have to look out for is that field factor, that package pile driver. Quinta Ozora and can hit at any time, and if he hits it, it's pretty much all over. But now Nakamura using those kicks, but oh, there's a kick of his own for Penta L0 M and another brain shot from Penta L0 Oh my goodness gracious! He just pulled back his head and Nakamura's head just met squarely with the with Penta's knee. Count rolling. I'm surprised that Nakamura wasn't completely knocked out with that. And now look at this. Dragon Sleeper. A Dragon Sleeper applied here from Penta. Is Nakamura going to give it up? Is Nakamura going to give it up? No. Knees to the head from Shinsuke. Shinsuke now again with the kicks. That's his bread and butter right there, folks. Kick to the midsection there from Penta L0 M. Huge shot off the ropes goes Penta. Oh! Both men colliding. And now look at this. Shinsuke now telling him to bring it on. And so is Penta Zero M. Oh, but now look at that. I think that forearm. That forearm did damage. And now Nakamura taking advantage. Knee to the midsection. Penta trying to get away. But Nakamura right there with the knee drop. Shinsuke Nakamura now in complete control and this spells bad news for Pentel ZOM as the king of strong style definitely now going to live up to his nickname straight running knee by Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura now has Penta on the top rope here and a nice knee to the midsection. All the breath had to just leave the body of Penta as now here comes the key, no! I thought we were going to get the keen shots, but oh my goodness, Pinto Zero M moved out of the way. Hits him with the gut buster. Picks him up. Up in the air goes Shinsuke with the sit out power bomb. Turns him around, hooks the leg. One, two. No, it's not over. Not quite over yet. As now he turns Shinsuke around. Look at this. Into the Cloverleaf. The Texas Cloverleaf. A modified version of it at least. And now he is just bending Nakamura in all the wrong ways here. Nakamura has got to find a way to escape this hold. But Penta Zero M is looking for that submission victory. But no. Shinsuke pushing him back. Nakamura fighting back and now here comes Shinsuke Nakamura with the forearms. Has him up. Gord Buster. Nakamura now what in the world does he have planned? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, here comes. Here comes the knees. This is where Shinsuke starts showing his more sadistic, his more vicious side. As if he wasn't already vicious enough. And now has him up looking for the landslide and he gets it. Hits the landslide perfectly. Two. No. But Nakamura not letting up. Go straight into the triangle hold. The triangle hold perfectly applied on Pitdown Zero M. He's got that arm trapped and he's got his legs wrapped around the neck of Pinta Zero M. Pinta can't breathe. He's got to find a way to escape and he does. Nakamura rolls out of the ring. Pinta now chasing after Nakamura. Nakamura now 
Getting back in the ring. Once off the ropes. It catches Penta with the single leg drop kick. This could be Nakamura's moment. Power bomb. No. Penta getting out of it. Penta now. Super kick once again. But he picks up Nakamura. Turns him around. Backstabber. Hooks the leg one. Two. No, not yet. Not quite yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here it comes. Here comes the arm breaker. Jesus. That's got to do it for Nakamura. But no, he's still in it. You know if that doesn't work. There's always the package pile driver, and I think that's what Pinta is now setting him up for. Pinta L Zero M looking for the package pile driver. No, wait, no! With the uninjured arm, Nakamura hits him with that lariat. And now Nakamura with the reverse power slam. And this does not sound the news for Penta L Zero M as Nakamura hits the keen shasa. Game set and match and Nakamura picks up a big victory here in our main event. Very hard hitting. Very painful as just as I called it from just watching these two men wrestle. There's hard strikes, hard hitting maneuvers. Look at this right here, the sit out power bomb with all the authority in the world. Both men definitely proving why they are probably two of the two of the biggest badasses in the professional wrestling today. But Nakamura. Hold on there, there's just toughness or just Complete determination, but even with that snap arm, was able to get that reverse power slam and the Kinshasa for the victory. And the king of strong style reigns supreme once again. And like I said before, it's only a matter of time before he is back in title contention. Now wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's Sammy! That's Sammy Callahan! That's Sammy Callahan! The former CCW Pride Champion! You know he's gotta be absolutely pissed off! The former CCW Pride Champion! Now taking his anger and his frustrations out of one of the opponents in that triple threat match. As Sammy looks absolutely livid. And Nakamura, oh my goodness, he just went this, through this hellacious match and now looking for that butterfly pile driver. As Sammy, wait, no, Nakamura! Oh my goodness, once again with that lariat! Taking Sammy's damn head off with that one. And now another reverse power slam. Oh, Sammy, I think you picked the wrong time to mess with the King of Strong Style. And now he takes his head off with the King Shasa. Nakamura was definitely not in the mood today. And Sammy Callahan found that out the hard, found that out the hard way. As now, wait a minute. Doesn't look like Nakamura's done a Sammy. Trying to get back to his feet. And Nakamura with another key shot set just for good measure. What in the world does this mean for the ZCW Pride title picture?